Today we are in Georgia Southern Country. Yeah. Outside of Statesboro, we are with Doc, a longtime Patreon and great supporter of our channel. Doc has something he wants to show us. I think it's probably one of the coolest home bar setups in the country. So Doc, why don't you show us uh, how this works? Well, first of all, you have to come over and you gotta enjoy you know, the books here in the bookshelf, but just a little extra work here and you got access to something kind of special up top. One of the things that I think makes a really cool home bar setup isn't just the bar setup itself, but it's how you get to it. There's a lot to be said for just very, very cool entrances. In case you're getting lost on the steps, there we go. Hey, that looks familiar. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't really matter if you go upstairs or down to your special home bar location, as long as it's the right place for you. This is one of the things that I wanted to make sure we had as we, uh, as we got into the new house. We've been here a couple months now, and we just about finished this. Oh, Doc, this is gorgeous. One of the things that blew me away when I first saw this was just the variety of all of the different woodwork between the wall paneling, the bar itself, the bar top, the wooden barrels uh, from different distilleries, the stools, just it kind of all comes together in a very, very classy way. Let's take a look at the collection, Doc. I'm seeing some bottles that I'm pretty, uh, look pretty good to me. Holy cow. Got some Wellers and Handies and Van Winkles. That's right. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that is Stages awesome. Stages love. Okay, yeah. I love the woodwork in here. Thank you. As much as I like the bourbon, the woodwork and the carpentry in there. We wanted it to be a lot like a, oh, uh, like a, a, a old bar set up for everything too. We wanted it to be kind of like a, an old speakeasy that's been kind of turned into something different. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what we're, what we're doing. You can see a very eclectic mix. And the whole idea is the, not to hunt for rare bottles so much as to try a bunch of new stuff. And, and so that's what you'll see. Some of them, are open, most of them are open, but with a little bit out. And so try to taste. And so I'm learning as I go with everything too. So it's, it's, it's just been fun. Oh, wow. Okay. So you like the blue note? Juke joints? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. I started, when I started uh, learning about everything was store picks. And Blue Note Juke Joint did store picks, reasonable prices. And so every time I would run across one, I would grab one. Bartstown was the was the other first thing too. So that's why these guys uh, rank up close for, for where I'm putting everything too. And of course, you know, the, the, the one, the big one here for everything as far as uh, the 13th Colony for, uh, for being a Georgia deal. Yep. Well, and uh, Doc and I actually were at the 13th Colony uh, barrel pick for Whiskey Row yesterday. And uh, I believe, did you buy that sign yesterday? I did, yeah. Nice. I got that yesterday. There's a few new additions with the, with the new glands also. Oh, yeah. For those. And they have a website now where you can buy their stuff. They do. They just opened up their new merch store yesterday. So if you're doing a tasting or anything like that, you can have... Four, five, six people sitting out and uh, and kind of work through with everything there too. So this is this was the uh, the think one of the things that I wanted to do uh, uh, like the old fashioned bars that had to pass through. Oh yeah, and so they were able to do that. And so they they took one solid uh, piece of wood and then cut it uh, and and set it up for everything with with poly across the top. I love it. I love it how you have that that rim edge around the whole room. Yeah. And I love how you're using it for sample bottles and those types of things. I think that's that's super cool. Where did you get these uh, these de like these old school desks? It's one of our local guys uh, has a um, not so new shop. I guess we call it a junk shop. And he has a ton of antiques. And so one of the things, and, and the cool thing about this is if we've got more folks in, Make a little room. It can make a little room for everything that way too. Yes. So, and so folks can sit around the barrels, or they can sit there, or up, in, up with the with the stools, and so it gives us more room to do a couple of different things. So, first of all, thank you for having us and for showing us around this cool, cool space you've built. But I do have to ask, what are some of the 
your favorite bottles, both just for regular sipping and for like that you're just super happy you finally got a hold of. Where oh, yeah. 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 So probably the 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 biggest deal was um was lucky enough to get one of the old foresters and then some of the folks from Patreon helped me to get the old fit seventeen. And so I'd had a pour of this from before and knew that I really, really liked it. And then this was just one of those, you know, unicorn bottles that you just want to get sometimes. And so that's been, that's been pretty cool. Which, uh, do you know what year that birthday is? This is uh, last year, 22. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's 22. Um, a, a cool one that, because I'm always trying new stuff. This is uh, this is out of West Virginia called Swill Dog. And they, they do source their stuff. It's, it, you know, it's MGP, but it's really, really good. They do a double oaked as well. Remus was one of the first ones that I kind of, uh, Remus 5 was uh, when I was first getting into bourbon, it really taught me that uh, a bourbon can be complex and have a lot of different things going on. Uh, and then uh, I got into the fact that there was such a thing as store picks. And that's when I got a little over crazy with my <laughs> blue note <laughs> juke joints. Uh, and so these guys we tasted, we blinded with some friends and some of the folks from my office and it's been really neat to see the difference and the similarities. And there's only, I think we run across one that may be off profile a little bit too. We were able to do a, a, a barrel pick for our, our, our um, 100th anniversary uh, for my, uh, my association, uh, Southern Council of Optometry. Yeah, you guys know I'm an eye doctor and, and um, our group had our 100th anniversary last year. And so our friend Neil from Broughton Street uh, helped us do a, do a barrel pick with that. We were so fortunate just a little bit old, under a year ago to run across this guy. And that has been pretty amazing, uh, just how cool it was. We, we would see these guys on the shelves and I would never pick them up. I didn't know much about it until, uh, until we found out this. And then, you know, 13th Colony has been my, one of my go-tos for forever now. Uh, all the way through just because they're so consistent and we want to be loyal to the home state and so that they've been great asw is also a really good one too yeah. that we've enjoyed yeah i really like the uh the think, fiddler store picks I think, and, I think georgia bourbon is kind of underrated so yeah yeah i, I had to agree with you now this is is this a batch one this is a batch one yeah so, well 22 release i guess 22 what release it. yeah what's that one and then uh when we did the barrel pick i actually had all the guys from the distillery sign the regular release here so all the folks that we've worked with oh, and so cool. you can see uh Got max you. and danielle and, and graham and, and graham and, and randy all signed these uh, so that was really really neat so just extra storage space extra storage space behind the radio yeah okay i mean yeah. it's the same over here yeah maybe i'll show you this too caroline told me i could it because it's too junky but the thing that you've got to see here oh, wow you got even more stuff in here so and then here behind the, uh, this is the, the extras. That's awesome. You have so much storage space. But this is, as it gets a little cooler. We can just come right out on the porch. Hot on the porch. Or if your wife locks you out from the other side, <laughs> you can right. just sleep out here. That's right. Or at exactly. least have it exactly. a way to jump out. Yeah, I have to have to put a uh, a slide or something. <laughs> a fireman <laughs> pole. That's right. <laughs> well, Doc, thank you so much for having us. Appreciate your support. Thanks for inviting us over to the house to take a look at. Honestly, it's pretty much the coolest bar setup that I have ever seen. So, oh, you're absolutely welcome. Thanks for coming. All right. Well, until next time, find a bottle you love. Mm -hmm.